This video will discuss how to manipulate images made from photos for use in web pages. When image files are too large, they are slow to transfer from the web server to the destination browser. Most people who visit your page will not wait when this happens, and the problem really stands out for people with slow internet service. This is why experienced web developers use small images. Let's consider two common scenarios, small images that need minor resizing and large images that need to be made smaller. Here's an example web page with a small image. If you look at the source picture, it is only 300 by 191 pixels, and it's only about 16 kilobytes. It's a tiny little picture. If the image does not suit me in terms of being the right size, what can I do? You might be able to find another image on Google that is the right size, or at least closer to the size that you want. For minor adjustments to an image that you already have, you can go into the image editing software packages like Paint in Microsoft Windows or like Preview in Mac and you can just resize the image. This will let you resize by pixels or percentages. If you adjust up or down by a little, it's not a big problem. If you try to make a small image too much bigger, it will look grainy. You can also make small changes to how big the picture appears on the page through the HTML image tag. In this example, since the native file width is 300, you can change the size up or down a bit because the quality of the image would probably still look okay. So how do you go from the images that are on the internet or on your digital camera to being able to get down to a picture that looks about the size that you want and includes the content that you want. The way digital photos work is there is a format and a way to kind of manipulate the size. Let's look at a few of these. Common picture formats are TIFF and bitmap. These are lossless formats that can be recorded in high quality digital cameras. This is what professionals typically use when they want to capture all of the camera's sensor information is capable of capturing. Then there's the JPG, pronounced JPEG. This is a lossy photo compression method that is used for photographs. And most digital cameras will let you select the dimensions and the pixels and the quality of the compression that you can apply to the photos. Here are three common ways to reduce the storage size of your image. One is you can reduce the dimensions. You can keep the same ratio of height to width, but reduce the number of pixels. You can crop by selecting just a piece of the picture. You can also perform JPG compression, which retains the essential features of the image, but simplifies and blends some pixels and colors. These three things can lead to a greatly reduced file size. Let's look at an example. In this example, I have searched on just Wonder Woman photographs that are on Google. As you mouse over these, you can see that there are quite a number of different sizes. You can see the height and the widths on them. Most of them are not very large. This one, for example, would be about the appropriate size for a lot of small images on a web page. But sometimes you want something that starts out to be bigger. For example, if we scroll down and look at some of these images, some of them are quite large. Here's a larger one. This is the poster for her 1984 upcoming movie. This is 2700 by 1800 pixels. If we click on this, it shows larger on Google, but it's still not as large as it actually is. So I'm going to save this image. This image in its current form is 403 kilobytes. That's already been reduced from when the digital camera took the original photograph. You can see that it's already in the JPG format. If I go into my paint program and I go in and select this, you can see that it is large. It's too large to even fit in my video recording window. And so this is a lot larger than you would want to put in a web page. This is really showing more the actual size of the photograph. If you look closely, you can see that this has already been a compressed image because it is not a high quality photograph. It's still too big. So what do I do? I can resize the entire thing. So let's say that I want to reduce this to 500 pixels horizontally. Then this is a size that could be good. Let me save this. Now, if we look at it, it's only 67 kilobytes. So this has gone down a great deal in terms of the amount of storage space. You can also crop to select a subset of the photo that you want to retain. Select a rectangular section, then I could just take a headshot and I could crop it. And so now I save this and go look at it again and now it's down to 23 kilobytes. So there's a number of ways that you can manipulate the size of your photos so you don't have to load really large photos across the internet.